It's a KCCI exclusive interview. Senator Lindsey Graham continued to campaign for Republicans here in Iowa today. In an interview you will only see here on KCCI, chief political reporter Cynthia Fodor asked him about Trump, trade, and of course the Iowa caucuses. Conservative college students at Drake woke up early to hear from the senator who may now be the closest to the president. I don't know what made you want to come here this morning, but I'm glad you did. It's our first time sitting down to talk with Lindsey Graham since he ran for president here four years ago. Tell Donald Trump to go to hell. God bless any president who will. Today, the senator sings a different tune. You've been criticized for changing your mind about President Trump. And when you were out here four years ago, yeah. you called him every name in the book. and. Yeah. And now you're a staunchest ally. What what changed? He won and I lost. <laughs> I accept the consequence of an election. It's not about me, it's about the country. I'm really pleased what he's done in the last three years. The yeas are 232. The senator passionately opposes the impeachment inquiry. You can make your own mind up about the phone call. I made my mind up. There's nothing there. Uh, oh, how but about you that? say there's nothing there, but it, I mean, is it okay for any U.S. president to ask a foreign leader to look into a political opponent. I think it's okay for a foreign, for a U.S. president to ask people to look into corruption, and firing of the prosecutor does seem suspicious. And I guarantee you, if a Republican had done that and a Democrat president had asked the Ukrainian president to look into it, nobody'd be saying a damn word about it. And I'm trying to let the House members know that you're dividing America for no good reason. We got a lot of things we should be doing, like lowering the cost of prescription drugs, and getting a trade deal with Canada and Mexico. But will the House vote on you? USMCA anytime soon. This is far better than NAFTA for Iowa, and the only reason we're not voting is because Nancy Pelosi doesn't want Donald Trump to be successful. That's shame, that's sad, that's bad for America. What do you think will be the turning point in the election in 2020? What will make the difference one way or the other? When people sit down and figure how it will affect them, your second largest industry I think in Iowa is health care. Medicare for all is the end of health care as we know it in Iowa. The Green New Deal destroys farming as we know it. It's not so much that they're liberal, they're beyond liberal. This is the most radical agenda in the history of American politics. Compare that to what Donald Trump's done for the last three coming on four years. I think he wins Iowa going away. I think people in Iowa are not going to turn this country into a socialist nation.